Hello, this is Michael Duncan with Viwinko Windows, and today we're going to do a how-to video on how to remove and reinstall a sash for a single-hung or double-hung window. Okay? Um, so here we have a uh, double-hung window here, so we're going to take that sash out and then reinstall it. Uh, one of the things you're going to want to look at is if you do have any uh, home security uh, systems and it's a new sash that you're putting in, you would definitely want to remove that. Uh, to reuse on the, the new sash there. Um, but we'll get into it. So obviously you want to unlock the window. And then the, the next thing you want to do is slide the sash up. And what you want to make sure you do is you clear the sill down here. Uh, a lot of people try to unlock the window and then tilt it in right away and you don't have the clearance that you need. Um, so you slide the window up. You have your patented tilt and lock uh, that is standard on Cambridge and S-Series hung windows, so there's no tilt latches. Basically, you just push the lock in and that'll tilt the whole sash in. Um, so the next thing you want to do here is basically your sash is connected to each side with a pivot bar into the balance. That's what helps it uh, stay connected and slide up and down. So you'll take one, one corner and you're going to want to lift it out. And then you'll do the same for the other corner. All right, and then that's how you take your sash out. Now you'll go ahead and you're going to want to put it back in. So there's a couple things you're going to want to be careful of here is when you put the sash back in, you definitely want to make sure that the pivot bars are stuck into the balance shoe properly so that you'll have clean operation and you won't risk damaging anything. So we'll get into it. So you'll take your sash uh, and you're going to want to fish one side into the balance first and then pop the other one in. Uh, so we'll go ahead and stick it in there. And then you'll fish the other one through into the shoe. So what you do want to do to make sure it's in there is kind of lower it below so it's past parallel to the ground and maybe shake it a couple times. And then you'll feel that it's in there nice and smooth. And then at that point you're good. You can go ahead and close the window and then you're ready to go. So that was showing you how to remove a bottom sash. If you wanted to do the same for the top sash, it's the same exact thing. You just slide it down. Uh, there are tilt latches up here that you would tilt in. And then from there, it's the same exact principles as on the double hung. One of the beauties of our single hung window is the top sash is a full sash that's fixed into the frame. So it's a lot easier to remove that if you want to or need to as opposed to a typical single hung that you see out on the marketplace where the glass is actually glued or glazed directly into the frame of the window. Um, so with ours, is it's just a full sash that you can take out. So uh, this is a double hung, but I'll explain to you the things that you're gonna look for and what you're gonna need to do. So obviously you, you take the bottom sash, tilt that in, you can e either remove it or just let it kind of tilt all the way down. And then what you would see is there's going to be two L brackets right here in the corner of the, the bottom of the top sash. There will be one here and one here. Uh, there will be one screw going in here and then two screws going in here. So you'll just remove the, both L brackets and then that sash can pull right out. And then the same principle will apply as if you want to put it in and stick it back in, slide it up into the head, pop the L bracket back on, screw it in, and then you're good.